Somebody said, who needs another piano? This is the Meldway Grand from Melda Production. Uh, this is a Steinway D that they have. And this is what they've done. They just got seven mic positions here. And they've paired them with the effects. And so we're just gonna dive in and just take a look at this. Um, it's, I'm getting used to the interface. The, the interface, Shane, it is, uh, it's, um, it's something. So look, we've got uh, all of these different uh, mixes here. The, the uh, classic mix, we've got close mixes, and then we've got some uh, Brauner stereo mics. Then they've got this ball in the middle that is like an like a an immersive audio, and then of course we've got the um, the little binaural head here. But uh, let's just go ahead and play through some of these. And I'm, I've really enjoyed playing this. Um, This is the Meldway Grand from M Sound Factory, Melda Productions. And I was surprised about the, um, about the dynamic range of this. got that Steinway sound, but then it's got something on the top, the top end. So that's the classic. Now I'm just going to go through some of these, um, these mixes here. Now this is the ball mic. And this is like the uh, like 3D or the uh, binaural right inside the piano. You know when. Um, when a piano library comes around, it's just like, it just has to... I'm either inspired by it, it, it just take, kind of takes your fingers away, or it just doesn't do much. And I really enjoyed this experience so far. Yeah, you hear that? When you dig into it. Let's go to the uh, the Brauner mics. Um. The stereo field is wide. Yeah, it's so it's really nice and clean. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm not gushing too much, but but actually, I'm just ex kind of experiencing this uh, some more with you guys. Our car broke down on Sunday. I was stranded. I was stranded. Like the batter the alternator went out in the car and. So I spent um, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday just trying to figure out about the car situation and then um, trying to get this uh, going, uh, get the live stream going and getting, getting a little play of some of these under my fingers. And so it's been kind of crazy. Okay, let's go with the uh, binaural head. Um, and so this is going to be just like you're sitting uh, right in front of the piano.
Yeah, isn't that cool? It's just nice and clean. And I don't, uh, you know, I've got the three pedal controller here, and I'm, I am not hearing um, any una corda. Yeah, there's no una corda layer here. Uh, it doesn't seem like it. I, I can't, uh, I can't discern it. But uh, let's see. Uh, and then let's see. Let's just keep going here. Let me see what we've got going. Yeah, make sure if it's your first time, <laughs> if it's your first time here, uh, go ahead and, and make sure you hit the like and subscribe. Uh, it's always a great, um, a great way to help support the channel. Yeah, I like... Uh it's just very tight. And this is without any reverb. Um, this is without any reverb, so it's just got such a clean sound coming right out of the um, out of the box here, um, and they they even put mics on the ground. So you you and and what I love, I love being able to see where the mics are positioned. Uh, it just uh, gives me a more immersive sense. Um, it gives me a sense of where the sound's coming from and how to relate it. So this is th these are mics down on the ground. And so let's check this out. Uh, let's check that out. They seem a little distant. close mics here and then the ground mics. got different mixes so this is like a binaural mix they've got the head and the uh, the ball in there I like when it uh, when you can hit it You can adjust the uh, the velocity curve here. Um, we also have like the uh, piano settings. You can uh, adjust the piano resonances and the reverb here. And then we can adjust the tone. We can take the lid, the lid uh, kind of like uh, short stick, and then the long stick, and then with the lid. Um, off. You know, Steph, I don't know exactly how many velocity layers there are. Um, I haven't been able to find that out, but, uh, but I will see what I can do. Now, this is with the lid completely off. I just like being able to lay into that. And then here, we have uh, the mic mixer here, and we can uh, just select the different mics. We can turn all of these mics on and kind of, um, you know, kind of make our own blend here. So, ooh, okay. So let's just, um, let's just turn these, um, the close mics. Okay, so you've got, you've got extreme close mics. Um, let me pull this up here where we can, Maybe see. Yeah, there we go. So we've got um, extreme mics in the center, 
And then you've got the border mics that are placed a little bit outside, further outside the, uh, the piano. I, I like what they've done with this. Uh, it, just, it just really feels, it feels nice. Um, it feels nice to play and the, um, the interface is kind of inviting. So these are like right over the hammers. Let's see, let's get into a different key. something I'm always okay so I'm not I'm not clipping okay good <laughs> I'm always trying not to trying not to clip yeah it sounds so bright for a Steinway you know and then of course those close mics are going to really give you uh, such a nice such a nice tone. Okay, let's see. Ah, oh, that's that's what we're doing. You've got like 43 presets here. Let's go ahead and oh, this is this is one that I really like. Uh, this is called uh, uh, Mrs. Latino, and what this does, this um, down here you'll see like minus 12, minus 5, plus 7. These are extra. These will like stack uh, a sound like like uh, 12. Uh, like 12 semitones below. So it kind of. So it's like playing in octaves. Plus 12, and that'll put an octave on top. You, so you've got um, the regular piano sound, an octave on top, and then an octave down at the bottom. That's kind of a fun, um, fun experiment. Deep. Okay, let's go. To, let's go a little deep here. <laughs> so this is more, a little more traditional here. You know what that sounds like to me. Um, if you get a chance, uh, check out Rick Beato's um, check out Rick Beato's uh, interview with Thomas Newman. It's it's really good. That uh, that interval kind of reminds me of uh, something Thomas Newman would do.
does, Chris. It does. It does. Um, it does. It has mood. And then you guys, I'm just trying to keep my eye on the chat over here. Uh, let's do that. Let's do that. Um, let's do that. Wow. Thank you, Emmanuel. Man, that's so cool. Thank you, my friend. Okay, so let's do this. Let's go ahead and run this through the, uh, let's run this through, let's run this through black hole. Um, I love it. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just actually watching that, uh, been watching the interview in uh, kind of in phases. Um, but let's do this. Let's go to Eventide and, um, and Black Hole. And I just, I just really pull it, uh, leave it on the initial thing, uh, and it just, uh, it does it. So let's just, okay, I've got this deep going on here. So we've got, um, we've got this. And then uh, a Strymon just uh, released their Big Sky Reverb, and unfortunately, they weren't able to send me one. <laughs> but uh, that's that's awesome. Okay, let's just check this out. Um, maybe uh, we can see. Yeah, check this out. Let's just let's just do this. Let's just just kind of reset. <laughs> 